Hello, everyone. We're live. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. We are playing Monster Prom. I've had a lot of requests for Monster Prom over the years. And our homie Travis was nice enough to gift it to me like well long ago, but I'm finally playing it. It's a cute little dating sim. I think each little individual playthrough is pretty short. Unfortunately, a short stream today, but we're going to also do some other dating sims this week that are a bit longer. How is everyone doing? Yeah, I'm going to do this little short stream. I'm going to play through once or twice. And then... Merry Christmas. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to change that back to the not Merry Christmas one. I could let it go in January because it said Happy New Year, but... Thank you so much, Blood, for the 10 gifted memberships. Hey, I'm sure hey, chat very hey. much appreciates that. Who wants to go? And Shy Shy. Go away, go away, baby. Chi Chi has sponsored you 10 months in a row. Chi Chi. Happy Valentine's Day. I donated plasma today. Did oh, shit. Nice. Did you get paid? Oh, wait. Donate it. Donate it. So you didn't get paid. But they still call it donating if you get paid. Good for you. That's a nice thing to do. I've looked into that before. Um, thank you so much for the 10 months and blep. Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. I appreciate it. What are you guys? You guys doing anything special for Valentine's Day or just chilling? I mostly just chilled. And then right now, Alex. All right, let's spam this shit. Is doing a live stream. Let's show you. All right, so she rolled it up like a fucking prison <laughs> joint. Okay, oh, been there, wow. done that. <laughs> My boyfriend's streaming making okay. lasagna. So he's doing that for our Valentine's Day. There we go. There Not we go. gonna lie. Okay. Little bit of a disaster so far. I'm the cooker. He does the yard work. Um. Hopefully, you know, I think it'll be edible at the end of the day, though. There's a few concerning moments. <laughs> um. A few concerning moments. But, yeah, we're going to have a nice lasagna. Maybe a nice lasagna. Hopefully a nice lasagna. That's what I'm doing tonight. That was a lot of onions. I think it only needed half the onion. Yeah, I was trying to find the salt part to show you guys. But... <laughs> half low expectations. I'll act like it's the best lasagna ever. Now he's uh he's cooked some things before and they're they always end up fine. Of course, not a gourmet chef like myself. If you tie at least it'll be comedic. So you can monetize that shit. Well what's the point of monetizing it if I'm dead though? Alright guys, we're gonna start in a few minutes here, let people get in. Gotta afford the funeral. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah, I have to do some Kel's Kitchen soon. Um, it looks like Alex's setup he's using for the kitchen is pretty good. It has two cameras, so maybe I'll just steal that soon enough and we could do a cooking stream. A <laughs> bluff can pay for the funeral wholesome yeah when I did the pride cake and if you don't know what I'm talking about I cook I made a pride cake on a live stream it's on my YouTube channel probably just search k-pop and pride and cooking and it'll probably come up I'm not good at baking I'm like fine with cooking but somehow baking I always fuck up and whenever I make bread, I always fuck it up because I'm always too excited to have the bread and I always take it out too early. And then it's like, the middle's not quite done. <laughs> I can only eat the sides, but I was so excited for the bread that I had to take it out. Like, I'm horrible with that. I need to not make bread. So I don't make it that often. Your ops, you can bake but not cook. Kelly? Kenzie X05 has just donated two pounds through Super Chat. Thanks, Kenzie. Glad my well shot could catch a stream. Are you nuts? Are you nuts? Oh, yeah. It's a little more Kelly. time friendly for some Jess of you. Jordan has just donated $1.99 through Super Chat. 
Hey Kelly, what about Silent Hill's short message? Yeah, just Jordan, thank you, by the way. Um, I'm planning on it. I have to, let me write it down. A little lower. Calculator, guys. Squirk a bit. Thank you so much, Calculator Guy. Five gifted memberships. I'm, I'm sure chat is very thankful as well. Silent Hill. I keep wanting to play the new Silent Hill thing, but I keep forgetting. I have to set up PlayStation here. Now I have a big note. God damn it. It's Dwandy E has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Hey. I wrote it on the post-it note sideways so now when i stick it it's sideways that's so cool it's daunty thank you I'm five months i appreciate that hey all right are we ready you guys am i ready is the question let me have some water palentine's day galentine's day Is this Monster High? This is Monster Prom. We need to find, basically, you're, I think you're a monster. I don't know. Basically, we need to find a prom date. But everyone's monsters, basically. Ooh, but what kind of monster do we want? We need one that... Stars has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Got fired from work recently, but your streams always cheer me up. Fuck your work. You're gonna find a way better job that pays way more. Thank you, stars. I appreciate that. All right, let's do this. Yeah, do I get to make voice interjections, yay or nay? Make your own voices. I'll have the voice, voice effect. What does it mean? I think I have it on hey, voice go. acting. Oh, hi. What? Is this multiplayer? Is this not a single player game? Well, it is, because there's allowed to be one player. Short game. We're gonna do the full game, 60 minutes. Still pretty short. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid and on crack. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are you? Oh my God, what is that? A little dick on our shoulder? What the fuck is it? Ooh, with like a fire hair. I mean, I wouldn't want to be a zombie because like, you know you're smelling nasty, right? Like a zombie Frankenstein, like Frankenstein Frankenstein's monster is literally made of like corpse parts. Like it just smells nasty, guaranteed. So definitely not. So these ones, yeah, if we want to have a stinky ass corpse pussy, maybe. So I think we're probably between these two because they're the least revolting. And it's really, do we want to be the fire hair girl or dick on the shoulder? What is this thing? Did anyone in chat say yet? Yeah. What is the shoulder dick thing? Can we be cunty Steven Universe girl? It's a shadow. A shoulder D. Scara. Wait, oh. Wait, no. Custom. Scara. Yes. Okay. Scara. Oh, that's a pronoun, not a last name. Damn it. Okay, no, you know, that's fine. Scara. Scara Zikob. I want the whole thing, though. Can I fit it? Yes, I can. Okay, that makes me feel better. I wish there was a space, though, but... We can't win them all. Here we go. <gasps> Jesus, that kind of scared me though. 
And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Six weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. All right, genocidal. Is this the game with cryotic, 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 cry however the fuck you say the bitch's name's voice acting? I think this game does have YouTubers voice acting. Like a lot of them. I don't know which ones it has. Some might be predators, some might not be. I have no idea anymore. You really never know what you're gonna get with that, so. Sorry if there's some fuck ups in here. <laughs> Damien. Damien Levee. <laughs> A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Okay. I mean, we have a fire head. So. <laughs> I think he'll like that. Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Oh, a himbo. Do you get fire head? Literally. <laughs> Liam DeLioncourt. 4XX. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a vampire. There, he's got fucked up ages. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was that truly a lovable dork. Well, he's truly got a shitty haircut. Yay! Imagine having this haircut if you've been alive that long. Like, you're living long enough to know it's a bad fucking hairstyle. Polly Geist. <laughs> 22, a partly ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. I wouldn't trust dating a ghost. Because if you think about it, like, ghosts are probably so used to spying on people. And so they're like, they're going to spy on you all the time. Am I wrong? Marty McFly in the middle, though. <laughs> Don't act like you're above that pun. I'm not. I laugh because it's cute. All right, I think so far the first two of them. Maybe the ghost, maybe the himbo. But let's see, I'm not into the vampire. What? Are you accusing her of voyeurism? <laughs> I actually was, yeah. Oh wait, and one more, I guess. I thought we were done. Uh, and Vera Overlin, a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Okay, I like the idea of dating a Gorgon. I don't like the idea of them looking at me and me becoming stone. Sure. It's... Eh. Eh. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had six weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had six weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But, oh my god, but all the snakes could lick you too. <laughs> like, what if they just join in? What if you're hooking up with the Gorgon and her little snake hair is just fucking join in? Is that an orgy? Does it count? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, you know there's some like nasty weird porn out there that has that. We all need to die. All right, but it's already said we were young and afraid and we were ready to start. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. Hot or not, take this quiz to find out. Well, we know we're hot. Our, f our head is literally flaming. So, all minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. One in the chat if you've got a rotten mind. Not Kelly King shaming people with a Medusa King. I'm not King shaming people with a Medusa King. I got a little Medusa like statue over here on my thing. I like Medusas. I have like relate to Medusa because I got fucked up hair too. I burnt a bunch of my hair off this weekend too. It got all dry from the sauna and so I had a bunch of like little frizzy hair in my front of my head and I, <laughs> I was burning wood and uh the wind blew toward me and 
I may have used hairspray on the hair previously too. And yeah, I didn't even notice till later that someone singed off. I was smelling burnt hair. I was like, what the fuck? Why am I smelling burnt hair? That's concerning. But yeah, it was, it was my hair. It was just a little though. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Worry, no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Ooh. I love that for us. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. What would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? Ooh. A sample of more nutritious breakfast options so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. A tiny piece of sharp metal so every scoop will be full of thrill and danger. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Coolest prize vibrator. Yeah, just throw a rose toy in there. The phone number of that sexy tiger on the front of the box. He's so passionate about breakfast and health that he's surely also a great lover. Uh, no, not trying to fuck Tony the fucking tiger. No, thank you. Rather kill my. Oh, sorry, shouldn't say that because the YouTube's gonna demonetize me. Um, hopefully it didn't. Hopefully the AI didn't understand me. We're gonna go with sharp metal. Definitely don't want to fuck Tony the tiger. It's your chance to fix global warning, warming. Go ahead. All right, nah. The world, wait, why is my chat fucked up? Oh, there we go. You don't have to be a furry to wanna fuck Tony. Okay, Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. I'll let Tony know. Nah, the world's doomed. But I'll start investing in chips and start a profitable business for the soon to be covered by water world. I'm, I just want to buy all the fresh water so I'll be able to have water. Global warming isn't real. I invented it and now science Understand is claiming- Understand Meekly she please just donated five dollars through Super Chat. Understand I adore this game but making the right choices <laughs> can be difficult since your stats Understand determine if you make the right hand. choice. Good luck, Skaradikov. Audrey 313 has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Purple Heart, P.S. Our baby and I will have the same birthday month. I sadly turned 21 March 1st. Gotta start thinking more logically, colon underscore at Pop Rage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meekly, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I saw that there were stats um, in the description. I was not sure how that was going to work out. But interesting. And thank you. And then, Adrian, thank you for eight months in a row. Turn 21 March 1st. Oh, happy almost birthday. All right, back to global warming. Global warming isn't real. I invented it, and now science is claiming authorship because science is a lame copycat with no original ideas. It's time to be a real hero. I'll lead a mission to the sun in order to invite the sun to the party of its life. We'll have so many hilarious misadventures that the sun will eventually become Calculator cooler. Calculator has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Another year older, another year single. QQ. Rip. <laughs> no, thank you, Calculator Guy. Cal. Cal. What did I just call you? Calculator Guy. Thank you, three months. Um, hmm. I don't love all, any of these options. I'm going to go with this one. What would be your dream for a state? Crimes? A sweaty and manly wrestling match? A professional meeting where you charm your day with some astonishing business advice. A wild party in international waters. Oh, that sounds fun. A lovely walk in the forest after rescuing your date from a dragon. Uh, that sounds stressful. An art ex exhibition. Experimental enough to give you a seizure. Uh, no, I don't think my dream first day is having a fucking seizure. What's... <laughs> No. Wild party in international waters. Hey, if someone gets pushed overboard, I mean, who knows? Who's gonna find them? Who's gonna prove it was me? 
Huh? Unless you have a seizure kink? I mean, I don't. So... Let's do this! <gasps> oh my god. They just scream at you, don't they? Like, like calm down. Oh. Alright. Oh, this map screen's kind of cute. How it, like, opens up. I want this to open! Alright, let's go to the lot. Wait, where do we want to go? Himbo is probably at the gym. Bathrooms. Outdoors. Ooh. Where the food? Let's go to the bathrooms. Oh my god! We're so cool! Can we date ourselves? Like, of all the monsters, can we date ourselves? That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Oh, I was supposed to go to class? I thought it was like before school. We're a total baddie. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. I mean, yeah, I do. Stop fucking. Is, are you talking shit? Is this someone fucking making fun of me in this picture? Why is everyone talking shit about our flame head? By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms, you give two shits. But you gain plus 10 boldness. Wait. What? Oh, you give zero shits. You get plus zero shits, but you gain two boldness. All right. I was like, what? Later that day, you're out shopping with Vera and Polly when a wild cockatrice appears. Oh. It gallops through the mall, biting shoppers with its jagged beak and turning them to stone. Scott and Damien come chasing after it, holding a butterfly net in a frilly dress. Oh, oh my god, this isn't our fault. Huh? We had nothing to do with this. See, I didn't know I'd have to voice. It said there was voice. I thought there was voice acting. Do I not? I literally Google searched if there was voice acting and I was told there was. And it's a fucking lie. Two of the fucking links said there was. It's just them yelling randomly. Maybe it's only for certain scenes. Yeah, maybe. Just quips and a handful of lines. All right. I was trying to avoid where I have to make the voice acting. I, I don't know, it just started fucking up my voice so bad. So I'm sorry if my voice acting isn't great. We had nothing to do with this. Ugh, another mythical creature crisis. Just when I'm starting to enjoy my shopping. Ah, but it's so cute. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh, yes. I just picture Emily when I do that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the Emily voice. Oh, but it's so cute. I bet that bitch is chicken. I won't be able to get through it. I bet that bitch <laughs> Scarlet Pentagrams has become a Pop Dart Pride member. The only monster I see is you. Heart. Love <gasps> the return of Emily and Scarra. <laughs> Thanks, Scarlet, for the three months. I appreciate it. I bet that vicious chicken dragon really knows how to party. Scott and Damien see everything looking at them and wisely hide. Oh, so the narrator. <laughs> Scott and Damien see everyone looking at them and wisely hide inside a clothing rack. What are you going to do about this creature? Ignore it. Befriend it with a delicious cinnamon. Ooh, let's befriend it. You unwrap the delicious cinnamon treat you were saving for later and present it to the cockatrice. It sniffs it once and its eyes goes wide with rage. Oh no. We tried and failed. <laughs> okay, wow, rude. You idiot. Everybody knows cockatrices are allergic to gluten. But it's too late. The cockatrice bites you and you turn to stone. Your friends find a wizard to turn you back again, of course. But by then, rumors got around that you missed class and go get stoned. So, to go get stoned. So you get detention. You lose negative two fun and negative one smarts. <coughs> Great! Things are going wonderful. At least we have seven money. Let's do this! <laughs> I died the first day. You lost the smart, you dub B. 
<laughs> okay, look. Alright. Am I sitting next to the furry girl? Nope. Am I sitting next to these weirdos? Nope. Uh, ghost girl's okay, I guess. Let's go by the himbo and the Medusa. I'm losing my brain getting stoned by a wild cock. As you approach the table, you see Vera delicately lifting a fork full of quinoa to her mouth. She brings lunch from home when... Food, fork, six, eight. What do we delicate? <laughs> Who do we deliciate? Eating, eating, yeah, eating. Ugh. Ah, Scott, what on earth are you doing? I'm cheerleading you to help you be the best year of the whole school. What caused this obsession with cheerleading me through mundane activities that require no cheerleading? <laughs> I change your voice every time. It's been so long since I did one where I had to do the voices. Everything requires cheerleading, silly. That's why we have cheerleaders for our cheerleaders. That's too many. But I can see my cheerleading's not working. You haven't eaten anything yet. That's because you keep startling me with your damn cheerleading. I can't eat when I'm startled. No, that can't be it. I must not be cheerleading hard enough. Hey, friend, maybe you can help me. You should be cheering for Vera to eat the food. You should- Oh my god, don't eat the food. Remain skinny. The problem is, obviously, that we aren't dressed up as a giant salad. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I mean, sports cheerleaders dress like giant steaks and drumsticks all the time. True. Or maybe that's just how they look when I'm really hungry. Whatever, let's dress up. Luckily, the school keeps some giant vegetable costumes in the auditorium for health presentations, so you snag them and start cheering. Woohoo! Beats aggressive, eats beats aggressive. <laughs> there aren't even any beets in this salad. It's just quinoa and the hairs of my enemies. Vera's pissed, but she does eat her salad really fast just so you leave her alone. Hooray for cheerleading. Now, I don't know what happened, but we Let's were just as a salad. Auditorium. Ooh, let's go sing for people. Oh, we got a little friend uh, that's just like us. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves had descended to give you figurative oral sex. What? We're already getting head? It's the first day at night and we're already getting head. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Wait, what? We're getting head at the high school play? You gain plus two creativity. <laughs> what did we do? Okay. Later, you're minding your own business when you see a Polly floating down the hallway texting, just as you're about to approach her. Not cool. There you are, Polly. I've been following a scent, the scent of betrayal. What are you talking about, buddy? I haven't been pulling any pranks at all lately. <laughs> so very unfunny person messed with my sports gear. I put my left sock in my right shoe, my right sock in my left shoe. Polly, I know we're best bros and you would never do a prank to me, but I think you did this prank to me. I smelled you. Mm -hmm. Um, no, you didn't, because ghosts don't have a scent. Maybe not to a normal person, but a werewolf can smell anything, and ghosts smell like algebra and global warming. No, no, they don't. They smell like mothballs. Yeah. Right. Well, if ghosts don't smell, then what am I smelling? Of course, ghosts smell like ecstasy, spiked rose wine, and Victoria's seance lingerie. Sure is a mystery. Hop in my van and we'll go solve it, Scoob. I mean, Scott. Yeah, sure. Get in my van. Great. So we can get some real head and not the metaphorical head it talked about earlier. Ooh, a ride in a van? I can I stick my head out the window? Oh, that's kind of wholesome. I never considered a werewolf might do that. <laughs> Um, of course, anything to distract, I mean, cheer up, my best buddy. You hop in the van to get the, <laughs> get on the case of the ghost smells. Wait, can't we just smell this bitch? 
Why are we going in the van? She's like, we got a ghost right here. Just smell her. Like she has tons of skin showing too. We can just smell her shoulder. You hop in the van to get on the case of the ghost smells. Scott opens a bag of raw bones and begins swallowing them whole. Oh, just have a snack. Don't mind me. I just bought some Scott snacks. Oh. Zoink, Scott. Those look delicious. If I could digest uncooked marrow, I totally would. But as it is, Polly settles for lighting up a Polly snack and getting the whole van baked. Oh. You round out the day by tearing a human's face off to reveal that he was actually a spooky skeleton all along, just as you suspected. Ah. But did we even find out what ghosts smell like? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that was fun. It's nice to let my tongue wag in the breeze. Can we go on another car ride soon, huh? Can we? Classic. Sure, bud. Anytime a prank goes wrong, anytime you want. We just casually murdered someone. Some family just lost, like, their fucking mother. We're out here murdering. Oh shit. Sorry, I had to tab out and then when I clicked back in it switched before Let's I could read it. This. I did see we got plus one on boldness. Show. That's nice. Should we actually go to class today? Get used to it, we're monsters. Oh, I'm more than ready to get used to it. I hope I can, like, put someone. Oh, you know, like that medieval torture. I don't know if it's a medieval torture device, but it's a torture device at some point in time. The brass bowl. Is there one where they, like, put you in a big brass bowl and then they put a fire under you and then cook you? I want to do that, except we're the fire under it and then we cook the person. <laughs> I'm ready to be a monster. Oh, my God. We're so hot. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Oh my god, we're so cool. Why isn't everyone lining up to like go to the prom with us? Like, we shouldn't even have to ask anyone. We'd be being asked. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Like, 300 people are vibing with us. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. That's how we know we're having a good party. Plus two fun. Oh, hell yeah. 300 people friend zoned her. Yeah, I mean, when you put it that way. Can you consent to Kelly burning me alive in her cauldron? Yes, you can. You notice Scott and Damien waving their phones in each other's faces and decide to take a look. As you get closer, you realize they're discussing Pokemon Pokemon's Go, the mobile game based on the hit television show Pocket Humans. Awesome, bro! A Pokemon's Go. Which what monster would I be? I'd be a Medusa, for sure. Whoa, you've got a Walter Jacobs. Those are so rare. Oh wait, whoa, you've got a Walter Jacobs? Those are so rare. Fucking metal. You bet your ass I do. And check it out. His fiscal responsibility status 11. He's a fucking beast at doing his taxes. Hmm. I heard he's lactose intolerant though. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I feed him nothing but cheese pizza to fuck with him. He hates it. That's not very nice. I'm super nice to my Leslie Dunbar. Fuck you. You've got Leslie Dunbar, the queen of insurance liability management. <laughs> yeah, I'd have trade two Mindy Babcocks and a Jared Fogel to get her, but it was so worth it. That's nothing. You've got a Pokemon so rare it'll send them both into shock. Oh, fuck. It's an air air. That's nothing. You've got a Pokemon so rare it'll send them both into shock. You whip out your phone and show them your dick. Oh, scabs, rent a car, sex murderer. Oh, that sounds fun. Winslow Jibs, Fiscal Responsibility, 14 Armor Class. No, just stop it. Exit out. Don't even need to re read the rest of that. Sex murderer. <laughs> now, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't even know they made Pokemans like this. What type is this? Criminal type? Why the fuck did nobody tell me this was in the game? Whoa, Damien, calm down. You're shaking your phone. It's upsetting Walter Jacobs. Fuck Walter Jacobs. I can give myself a scabs rent a car and he's going to murder all my other Pokemans. 
Yo, I'd offer to trade you my whole roster for that mean son of a bitch, but all my Pokemons are obviously lame as hell. And hell is pretty lame. Why do you think I'm up here all the time? Tell you what, I'll beat you up, up the loser of your choice, free of charge, if you hook me up with that mighty bastard. Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> and I'll give you the card. I'm desperate. I'm so desperate. Why not? You never know what a free bite beatdown might come in handy. You lose one scabs rent a card, but you gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Dang. Let's do this! Well, we get one beatdown, so we could have him murder someone. I think we should have him murder the ghost because, like, how is he gonna do it? A vacuum? How do you do that? Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go away? <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Go away, Trace. Go away, babe, babe. Trace Adam has sponsored you 10 months in a row. Happy Valentine's Day, Kelly. I hope Alex's food only gives you mild food poisoning. Smiling face with hearts. Heart. Thank you, Trace. 10 months in a row. I know. I hope I only get mild food poisoning. Who are we sitting with? I haven't met these people. All right, let's actually let's beat this uh, furry weird bitch that's always by herself. Hey, stranger. Oh, that's a shop. Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will shit. And even some shit that will not shit. So take a look. All right. A blanket with two holes. Hmm. Oh, to be a ghost. A tampon used by the former prom queen. You know, for good old blood rituals or in case you're just a creep with unhealthy obsessions. Don't even dare ask me how I got this. What? Oh, wait, where's my money? I have seven dollars. Okay. Well. Thank you. Uh, that's only a dollar. So. <laughs> wait, I can only buy one at a time. Let's do this. Shit! I was wanted to. I wanted to at least look at everything else. Well, okay, you know. What's going on at the gym at night? Oh wait, let's go to the bathroom at night. Is there like a glory hole situation? That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. Oh shit, it's the same. I right, hear this is new. <laughs> on, the, on the way there, you run into the Mamimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. Uh oh. You take a sip, it tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. Guarana seed extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine. Only 50 milligrams of caffeine? What is this weak ass shit? 100 milligrams of boldness? Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gained plus two boldness. I am so bold. I'm actually so bold. Look, someone took down the fucking picture they made of me with the flame head all ugly. You don't need any more boldness. You need a date. Damn! <laughs> God! You didn't have to be that mean. Out of, the, out of the corner of your eye, you notice Damien playing with, <laughs> playing with a big knife like he's trying to figure out where to stab himself with it. Oh, let's help him. What a noob. Hey, why'd you stop me? I was about to give myself a sweet body mod. You know, they say body modifications are forever, but the shock value sure isn't. I broke my horn off and my dad were only pit my dads were only pissed off for what, three weeks? Maybe I'm just not going hard enough. I need something that will really freak everybody out, like a tattoo of my face. On my face. No, too subtle. Hey, you look like a deviant. Got any good ideas for a sick body mod? You're thinking too big. It's the tiny details that really freak people out. How about a tattoo of your face on the tip of your tongue? 
Gun hands. Okay, do not do the gun hands. No. Absolutely not. Sour milk, thank you. Five months. Sour milk has become a Pop Tart Pride member. Happy Valentine's girlies less than three. Hope her all feeling the love. No, not a tattoo of my face. An actual tiny face. No, I'll have my tongue split and then I'll do two tiny faces. No, that's too much. That's a little too much. I think, yeah, tattoo on the dick is funny. And I can have my necromancer cousin animate them so they scream all high pitched and shit. I mean, that would be kind of cool, actually. And on their tongues, four more tiny faces. Yes. Oh, man, I'm going to be straight up unemployable. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, are you really unemployable, though, if you're, like, a demon from hell? Like, isn't that technically your job? Not to get all technical, but, like, you're literally already employed for life. That night you have nightmares about Damien's tongue face. Sex nightmares. You gain plus two fun and one smarts. Wow. Oh, hell yeah. Right, he's a Nepo baby. He'll get a job. Exactly. Oh my god. Fucking whiny ass Nepo baby. Where? I'll go to class today. Oh my god, why do we look so ugly in class? We're never going again. <laughs> Our face got so bad. That day you, li <laughs> you listened to your elders and learned valuable lessons. Did we though? Or did we just get ugly? Hmm. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. I mean, we did get some smarts though. So, worth it. Ah, the sounds of learning. Chalk on a blackboard, pencils on paper, an ominous crash. It would seem that Damien and Vera have knocked over several desks in a rush to get to one particular seat. Listen, snakes for brains. Don't you dare even think about. Back off, brimstone breath. I will turn you to stone before you can snap your oddly well manicured fingers. <sighs> what makes you think you're worthy of sitting in the ultimate cool seat? I could get more likes posting a picture of me flipping you off than getting on a full frontal nude. Ha! Clearly, you've never seen my news. Oh, well, let me judge. Just put them out there right now. Ever heard of Dima? Whoa, what is that? All right, got it. Ever heard of Demon Douche Bros Texting.com? Well, then, if my texts are internet famous, I'm obviously the fucking coolest. You think being ridiculed on the internet makes you cooler than being on King Minos' list of wealthiest human hybrids under 300 years old? Okay. This could go on forever. Better settle it for them. Just fucking take the seat yourself before either of them can stop you. Ooh, I should be in the cool person seat. I'm the coolest. Damien and Vera look at you in awe. I know, I got plus 13 bold, like... It's gonna work. It seems a new champion of coolness has been selected. Exactly! Scare a dick off? It can't be! And yet, the seat never lies. I know! I'm so fucking cool! You feel a change come over you. Your skin is glowing. Your blog is trending. And your my blog is trending. <laughs> oh my god. Your blog is trending. You're suddenly wearing three additional pairs of sunglasses. Oh, you're so cool. I bow to your lit Snapchat skills and on fleek outfit. Do you want to lend your impeccable fashion sense to my... What's a Snapchat? Oh, Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat sounds amazing for you guys. Not for me. No, 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 please. Join me for a night of punching and dominoes. Your social calendar is suddenly Kelly. filled up. Chelly has just donated $2 through Super Chat. Chelly. Kelly, thoughts on Game Grumps copying you? XC slash us. Kill him! Oh, shit. What did I do? Oh, my God. What happened? Let's do this! Don't kill anyone, by the way. It's just a joke. We're fine. <laughs> Ow, my hand. 
<laughs> All right, where are we going? I mean, I like the demon guy. He's kind of fun. We've seen him being like cool enough. Vampire boy, no, thank you. Who's this freak? You find the Slayer sitting alone at a table. Is she even a student or what? This is impossible. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Wait, you're choosing to sit with me? For some reason, no one ever intentionally sits next to me. I usually have to ambush them and threat to kill them. I wonder why. It's a mystery. Anyway, I'm really happy you. I mean, I'm flattered that. I mean, I actually uh, wouldn't give a shit about you under normal circumstances, but today I'm on a quest. Yeah, that's right. I'm not emotionally vulnerable. I'm just on a quest to slay the werewolf of Wall Street, and I need a monster sidekick. You're going to help me, obviously. I just need to know where your class is. Are you a fighter, a mage, a cleric? Out with that! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you're something much better. You're a party smith gun haver. I'm a gun haver. A gun haver? Is that even a class? Practically everyone has guns. You reveal just how- oh, you reveal just how many guns you actually have. Holy shit, how can you even carry that many guns? And why are you allowed to have them at school? You have your rad biceps to thank for the former and Montropolis's Stropolis's strong Second Amendment protections for the latter. Okay. Okay, well, do you have silver bullets? Werewolves are only vulnerable to silver bullets. Man, there isn't a color of bullet that you don't have. Well, um, all right, let's uh, go for an adventure then. <laughs> you travel together to Wall Street where you shoot the wolf of Wall Street with your guns. Oh, just go on a rampage. Okay, that's fine. All right, then. Um, thank you. Then I'm going to go ahead and run screaming away from you, if that's all right. It totally is. God bless Monstropolis. You gain plus four boldness. Do you see that I'm at 17 boldness? Can we stop? Take a minute. Take a clap. Because the boldness is there. I'm definitely bold enough. Let's do this. And if we're in the cool person seat, like, people cannot be, like, denying me for prom. What's happening in class after school? Oh, I guess there's still class. That day your teacher delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows all your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Your teacher gains plus 10 coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates. Oh, great. Waste of my life. Or is he? We hope not. Well. You also gain two smarts. See Damien beating the piss out of a goblin like he always does when he's depressed. You go over and ask him what's up. It's this whole heir to the throne, heir to the throne of healthy. Holy shit, I cannot fucking do any of the other voices after that last monstrosity. Monstrosity. I can't even speak after that last monstrosity. I can't even breathe out of my nose after that. <laughs> it's this whole heir to the throne of healthy. It's really bumming me out. I hate being a pe prince of hell. I'm gonna hate being king of hell even more. Hmm. I mean, how am I supposed to rebel against authority when I am the authority? Monstrosity. <laughs> Why? It's not like it was insanely loud or anything, Kelly. What was loud? The voice. See, this is why I don't like doing voices anymore. I'm sorry. Ugh, not even being the piss out of its goblins cheer me up. Damien continues to beat the piss out of the goblin, but his heart clearly isn't in it. I mean, is there anything rad I can do as king of hell? Literally anything. Kings have harems, and I definitely join yours. Whoa! Be in the harem of hell? <sighs> yeah. You had me at harem. Mm. But then you lost me and I joined yours. Excuse me, I'm the coolest bitch in this school. You think I need to become king in order to grade my dick with the likes of you? Okay, this is a lie. Wow. This motherfucker, who was sitting in the cool scene, not motherfucking you because you only got one horn, basic ass fucking bitch. Wow, I can't believe this. 
No, listen, the reason we're not fucking right now is because I don't want to fuck you. Oh. Because you're ugly. Okay, I'm literally not, though. I'm not. Go get a life. Now slither away before I stop being polite. Wow. This is... You slither away. Why? I don't even want to say. You lose negative two boldness and negative one charm. Nah, that's crazy. Literally a gay. <laughs> Just say you like dick, bro. Let's do this. Degrade us, Zaddy. He didn't even want to degrade us. He said we're too ugly to be degraded. Like, what, is, what the fuck? Look at how hot we are. This is a lie. Almost slammed my desk again, but I refrained from it because last time it fucked everything up. Came off too thirsty. I don't even feel like we came off that thirsty asking to be in his harem of women. Like, come on. <laughs> That's, okay, maybe we might have been a little thirsty. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything's fine until Juan, the small magical Latino cat, asks what you think you're doing. Eh, Juan. Man, damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. Why? Why am I all of a sudden a sucky fucking loser bitch? But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Musaka. Bro, Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Musaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Okay. I thought that one was going to end worse again, like me being another big loser bitch. <laughs> You're taking a break with Scott, Damien, and Vera when the whole wolf pack comes stomping over. Oh, great. It's these boneheads again. I wonder what they want. The wolf pack is here. <laughs> Eat shit, you fucking flea farm. Whoa, Damien, calm down. These guys are my cousins. Even more important, they're my teammates. That, 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 that. <laughs> Last full moon? Oh, wow, I don't remember. I was at the bowling alley with Damien and Vera, and then it was the next morning I was naked and covered in blood. Oh, yeah, that night was rad. That, 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 that. Uh, um, the. I'm sick of these Kelly. creeps always harassing oh, Scott. Hey, Roman has just donated six Canadian dollars and ninety nine cents through super chat. Yes, Kelly is live. Romantic face. Also stream Venus by Zara Larson. Roman, thank you. And what up? Good to see you. I'm sick of these creeps always harassing Scott. We need to get rid of them, but how? Pretend to throw a ball really far, but actually just hide it behind your back. Oh, that's a good idea, because they're werewolves. They're dogs, basically. Stack Farrah and Damien on your shoulders to make yourself as big as possible. Farrah and Damien get to be on our shoulders in this one, though. I think we throw the ball. Oh wait, why? Am why am I fucking with them? I should be fucking with these fuckers. Actually, we have no reason to be upset at Vera. But Demon Boy deserves to fucking die. But he's probably already dead because he's a demon. I don't think anything worse is going to happen to him. Cackling at the cleverness of your scheme, you pretend to throw the ball, but the wolf pack seems unamused. That! That! <laughs> I can't believe you pull such a mean trick on my cousins. It's like saying you're going to give a treat and then not giving a treat. <laughs> Scott follows the wolf pack as they leave, casting a sad glance over his shoulder. Fair and Damien's looks aren't sad, but angry. Still not a good thing. You lose negative two charm, negative one creativity. I'm falling apart over here, you guys. I'm falling apart. Everything was going so well. We were so cool. We were so cool and now we're not. We're losers now. Let's do this.
I want to go to the shop again. Give me your money. Give me your money. Okay. Let's see. Damn, sold out of tampons. A motivational poster. Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education from great mentors, and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now, okay? <laughs> Bob Ross posters. A corpse. Yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It is not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. You have no charm. You failed at being a slut. Oh, I do only have one charm. That was a good point. Kelly, That's why I couldn't be Scarlet slutty, huh? Kilograms has just donated two Australian dollars and 99 cents through Super Chat. Kelly, can I borrow your V? Freighter after? Ow! Some impractical yet kind of funny glasses. Remember when these used to be cool? Remember when we used to be cool in the game? And now I'm totally a loser all of a sudden. I was the coolest girl in class and now I'm not. Sexy fake Latin accent. Why do we want a fake Latin accent? Oh, it's because people do be doing that. A penguin mask? Well, we're too poor for a penguin mask. Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Uh huh. A fake badass tattoo. It has flames and skull and even a knife. No, I don't need that. A PR agent. I'm gonna need a PR agent if I keep being such a loser. Cocaine. A brick of cocaine. Oh, only a bag. Never mind. Well, we're too poor. Blanket with two holes. We're gonna have to settle for that for prom night if we uh, keep failing. Gift that keeps giving. Thanks. Wait, zero dollars? Little Satanist kit. All cool kids want to be friends with Satan. Am I a cool kid again though? Who's that bitch? Let's do this. Oh shit, look at me. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. <laughs> oh God, now we're at zero charm. Damn, we really needed that one. Join Miranda and Damien's team for game two. It goes differently. Oh great, we're about to lose the charm. <laughs> Come on, shit dicks, face the power of hell. Okay, this battle feel red, Damien. Grind them all into a thin red paste. You express your worry and confusion over the number of corpses in the gym. Isn't this supposed to be a friendly game? Oh. Friendly? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in my vocabulary. Kill and murder. Uh-oh. Noah! Noah has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Love you, queen. Love you, too. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Honor, glory, feudalism. These are the words we will fight for. These are the words we will die for. Whoa, you didn't sign up to die. You got to stop this before it turns into an FPS or something. I mean, we're obviously going to die if there's corpses all over the gym. That's not a great sign. Get off my nuts, narrator. You don't understand the ancient reasons for dodgeball slaughter. Many died before us, but we won't waver. Guys, it's just a dodgeball. Let's throw the ball and have fun. No, we're not being the fucking loser. We're going for the murder. Fine, be that way. Look, narrator, every time I listen to your ass, I'm a fucking loser. And why do I still have negative two charm? I thought I gained two. I have zero. What did I have negative four? And now I'm at negative two? Bring it on. You cock your shotgun. Why do you have a shotgun? And stand beside Damien. Double kill. Triple kill. Quad. The gym is ruined. Blood is everywhere. Half of your classmates are maimed. Yay! They will all call me a loser anyways after I was in the cool kid chair. Are you happy? Here, have plus three money as loot or something. 
These kids are fucking poor. It's a dating game. You killed a bunch of people. How should I know what to give you? All right, whatever. Okay. I felt like you really answered me there. <laughs> it was scary. Let's is there even is there even any kids to go to school anymore? Did I kill them all? All the other kids with their pumped up kicks. <laughs> Imagine dying to that song in a massacre. That would suck. I'd want to die again. That day, <laughs> that day you spend some time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Ooh. Enlarge your tentacles. Who wants to enlarge our tentacles, guys? Use code Kelly. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose negative 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game. Thank fucking God. And you gain plus two money. Ooh, I can probably afford some Russian literature now. You see a truly rare sight. Vera and Damien are sitting behind a PC, speechless. Fucking metal. Wait, did we just rig an election in the Midwest? I was just trying to change the president's wallpaper to a dick pic. We need to cover our tracks like right now. What did you do? Uh, Damien, what did you do? Well, don't just stand there, you innocent bystander. Help us. Yes, of course I'm talking to you. Damien can't help. Breaking shit is useless right now. I disagree. Smashing the internet is literally our only option. Blame somebody else like the Vanderbilts. Yeah, sure. That's like some old ass, rich ass fucking American family, I think. Fuck them. Yes, everyone will buy it. They practically ruined their brand already. You know, with the purges. But Vera, isn't it kind of fucked up to frame our friend for a crime we committed? Are you having second thoughts, Damien? You want hell to be seen backing a political candidate in this election? Oh, God. It's another election year. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Fuck. Why did he even bring it up? Were I trying to have a good time tonight, game? Help, there's nukes in space, though. So, <laughs> so far, this has been the opposite of dating. Fuck no. Hell is all about strong, independent evil. We've got to drain the swamp and replace it with a lake of fire. Anyway, enough politics. You get plus two boldness and plus one smarts. Dude, I'm so smart and so bold and yet so lame. Let's do this. It smells like burning. You guys. Hold on, let me check my boyfriend's live stream. Because he's making us Valentine's dinner on his stream. Let me see. What's up with that? What is this? He's making lasagna. But it definitely, I definitely smell burning. But what's burning? It's burning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. He burnt one of the lasagna noodles. How did he even do that? How do you even do that? How did he do that? <laughs> What did he do? Oh my god! It's scarier than the monster game! <laughs> Alright, who are we sitting with today at lunch? Who's this pink sparkly bitch? I mean blue, why did I say pink? What? <laughs> You're just about to take a bite. Oh wait, am I that? Okay, I'm on, I'm on the game, we're good, alright. Yeah, I love the cat transitions too. I actually got a bunch of uh, really cute new ones as well to add to the cat ones as well. But I haven't added them yet. How do you burn one noodle? 
<laughs> You're just about to take a bite of your sandwich when some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality. I hate when that happens. Greetings, my love. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to slur at him. It is I. <laughs> Resisting the urge to call a <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways. Delete. <laughs> it is I, the interdimensional prince. I have searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving a most fiendish riddle for me. The riddle of how to get a my TV to switch from HDMI to HDMI 2. I've tried everything short of actually using the remote control. You heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension where you solve his problem by using the remote control. Oh, good thing I have 25 smarts for this dumb shit. You truly are both wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Oh, second cock, I'm taking it up the ass. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Perhaps laser communion might interest you, or reverse baptism, or eggs. Oh, I can have a baby for you if that's what you're asking. The choice is yours. I will definitely have a baby for you and your husband. Let's make up our own ritual. How about the ritual where you give me a pile of money and go away? <laughs> I'm pretty bold. It might work. It sounded angry. I'm not angry. I like him. He looks very fabulous. Let's make up our own ritual. Ah, we have a ritual for this. Ritual of making up rituals. That's why we have so many dumb and bad rituals. Of course. I don't hate the gays. Uh, first, we get incredibly high on interdimensional weed. Ooh, now you're talking. Then, we pretty much do whatever we want and then make it illegal for people not to do that thing once a year. Sounds good to you. You guys get ripped and invent a holiday called Shrimp Christmas. It's Christmas, but everybody just gets stockings full of shrimp delivered by a giant shrimp. It becomes so popular that it leaks over into your dimension where it replaces actual Christmas. You gain plus four creativity. Oh, just what I fucking want. A fucking bag of shrimp in my fucking stocking where it's going to smell like... Oh, nah, nah. Leave a fucking fish out. Have you guys ever left a fucking fish out? Once I left fucking sushi out in my office for like a week and that shit did not smell fucking good. I literally threw up. I threw up trying to clean it up. No, like, old fish is so nasty. Let's do this. Your brother left fish in the car. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. Rave time. We look so good at the rave. At one point, one of the magical Latino cat slips on a banana peel you start to laugh at him Meow. he asks you to stop but you don't Meow. you laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal plus two fun from him hooray Meow. you notice damien and miranda <laughs> squatting on the grass poking something with a stick squat you rush over hoping for a dead possum but instead you find them gathered around an entire tiny metropolis Ooh. fucking metal Check this shit out. It's our kingdom. I call it Smalltopia. A tiny voice from the shit. shit. <laughs> Hold on. Let me take my throat goat syrup. I haven't had my throat goat syrup in a while. I haven't needed it. I know I'm going to need it doing all this dumb shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I put way too much. Oh my god. 
Ooh, I got like a crush. <clears throat> Alright, I got the throat goat uh, syrup down. <laughs> a tiny voice from the city shouts up at you. It's called West Pemberley and we're not a monarchy. Oh, we didn't ask, you little bitch. I was just gonna burn it all with a magnifying glass, but I'm happy around to stop me. It's good to be king. The tiny voice from the city says, we vote for our leaders in biannual elections. We didn't ask. Stop this fucking metropolis already. But we are, fa but we are facing a quandary. How to boost our kingdom's struggling economy. Yeah, the whole place has been facing an economic recession ever since a pigeon stole the hospital to build its nest. The tiny voice says, the red guy stole the hospital and lied about it. I'm used to managing kingdoms that are significantly larger and much more underwater. I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Yeah. Hey, how about being our royal advisor? The pay is shit, but you can take whatever buildings you want. Hey, says the tiny voice. Build a new hospital out of popsicle sticks and hot glue. You know what always boosts an economy? War. I think I saw an anthill over by the water fountain. Yes, war. Wartime economy time, baby. See, Miranda, this is exactly what I've been telling you. The best solution is usually violence related. It is. Unfortunately, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You truly are wise, Damien. Very well. To war. The three of you instigate a war with the ants by leaving a trail of syrup between small Toby and the anthill. Yes, false flag these motherfuckers. The tiny city is soon devoting its entire infrastructure to combating the formic menace. They build barracks, train troops, and construct missile silos. By the end of the period, they bomb the ants back to the Stone Age with tiny, adorable nuclear weapons. That's so cute! The drinking fountain will be radioactive forever, but small to- Look, I'm trying to be a fucking slut, alright? I tried. It didn't work. So now I'm fucking doing nuclear war against fucking ants, alright? We, we did our best. Why are we still hanging out with Damien, though? He was so mean to us. Honestly, I don't think he really thinks we're ugly, though. He was, like, nagging us. Like a demon man-child. Think about it. They're gonna, like, nag you and say all this negative shit. But they just want you to, like, fawn over them. And shit. I think we're okay. You gain plus one boldness and plus two money. And then we could dump him at prom and embarrass him because he was a fuckboy. Easy. Get the dick. Get out. Oh my god, we're so cool. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel you're not as good as the role requires you to be. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there. <laughs> But there might be an extraordinary way of getting yourself there. <laughs> you summon the demon. Or you summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. You gain plus two creativity. You also live negative three years of life. Great. Wonderful. Happy birthday. You catch sight of Damien in the audience, sprawled casually across several seats, smoking three cigarettes. He nods at you. Really? Three cigarettes at once? Hey, noob. <laughs> hey, have you heard about this talent show they're putting on? What the fuck are you wearing, ugly bitch? You look stupid. Uh, you know, at first I wasn't interested. Just another lame-ass piss party courtesy of the theater department. But then I realized, you know that trophy thing they give to the winner? You could really hurt someone with that trophy. So now I've got a problem. I want that trophy, but I don't want to do some stupid song and dance number to get it. Tell you what, you give me, you help me think up a killer performance. I'll promise not to hit you with the trophy when I win it. Oh, I'll promise not to hit you with the trophy. Much. Pull off a surprise victory with the only talent that really matters, trophy theft. Stick to what you're good at, arson. I mean, yeah, we should stick to what we're good at. We're literally a fire bitch, so arson it is. 
Are you saying arson is the only kind of murder I'm good at? What about knife throwing? What about chainsaws? Jesus, what about vehicular manslaughter? All right, we'll do them all. What am I to you? Some kind of minor league asshole? Yes. Who can't even ruin a talent show without fire? Yes. Dude, fire is awesome. What do you mean? Uh, tell you what, since you seem to have a very limited idea of what I can do, let me treat you to a beating I like to call the sampler platter. Ooh, he hit me and it felt like a kiss. Needless to say, Damien's sampler platter is in no way delicious. You lose negative two creativity and negative one charm. Wow, we really got fucking domestic violence before we got some fucking dick. Let's do this. We have negative three charm. There's no way we are so hot. Fuck, I'm gonna have to settle for the fucking nerd. And I can't even go hit on the nerd right now because fucking Damien's there and I don't want to talk to him because he just beat me. He's just teasing. He wants you. What are all these bitches doing? You arrive at your table to find the coven eating and Polly and Miranda screaming. <gasps> We're under attack. Alarm. Alarm. Summon the guards. <laughs> They're using their bizarro mind powers on me. The cute tall one is my less attractive evil twin. She uses shades just like me, clearly because of the evil twin thing. We're not attacking anyone. We're eating. What do you mean, less attractive? Ugh, disgraceful. Lies, subterfuge. How did I do this bitch's voice? Was she the fucked up one? Ah, I can feel them in my brain. Maybe less cool and sexy. Ah, give her coolness and sexiness to me. Always, Always the same, same with you. you. Every single lunch hour. You can't allow your friends to be attacked. Quick, save them from this fiendish menace. I'm not saving them from the coven of witches. You think I'm trying to get fucking cursed? I think fuck not. They're not even my friends. I barely know those two. Let's just drug their food. Joust them? No, we're not a jouster. We're gonna drug them. We know they're eating good. <laughs> you reach into your pouch of drugs and pull out a handful of miscellaneous pills which you sprinkle on the coven's mashed potatoes. What are you doing? Are you trying to drug us? Idiot, winners don't do drugs. We're out. You know what? How about we just move to another table? Cool! <laughs> Suckers! They left their druggy potatoes. Looks like everything's turning up Polly. Polly eats all the drugs out of the potatoes and then decides she's a canoe. A canoe that thinks you're kind of cute. Hey! She thinks we're a canoe, but she thinks we're Let's cute. Do this. So. You know, maybe negative three charm kind of worked out. Get a little ghost bitch action, action, action. <laughs> that day you spent some time on the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gain plus two money. You see Damon about to punch some noob when suddenly a dimensional portal opens between the two of them. Yo! Hey, what the hell? I'm about to punch that noob. There will be plenty of noobs to punch. My fearsome paramour when you are mine. Mm -hmm. Oh god. <laughs> he wants that dick too. We're gonna have to fight the twink. I have traveled across time and space to find a fit commander for my armies and for my bedroom. Oh, you want me to come over to your kingdom so we can kill him people and fuck this bitch? If he fucking. <laughs> He's going to be down, isn't he? I wouldn't put it so crassly. Fucking metal. Well, I would. And that sounds doper than hell, which isn't hard because hell is lame. But still, really? Nah, I see. I call it. I said he's gay if he didn't want us. And look. All of a sudden, a twink shows up and look. Huh. 
unfucking believable actually. But if Damien goes to another dimension to fucking kill people, how will he fucking kill people with you? There's only one thing to do. But he doesn't want to fucking kill people with me. He already said no. We can't just keep trying. We're gonna seem desperate and stalkerish. Exactly, let him go. Defeat the prince's entire shitty army using nothing but a colander and a grapefruit. No, that sounds like a terrible fucking plan. Show Damien a picture of the prince's armies wearing clown shoes and assless chaps. Damien. <laughs> You recall- he's gonna like that, probably. He's gonna love that! You recall a full-page glossy photograph you saw in the latest issue of Bad Army's magazine. Fucking assless chaps army. Pull it out of your backpack and show it to Damien. It depicts the prince's army wearing floppy shoes and assless chaps braiding the opposing force's hair. What the fuck is this? Opportunity, Damien. Any general can win a war with an army that's good. But imagine the glory of winning with a bad army with assless chaps. <gasps> oh shit, you're right. Let's make them worse. Give them boxing gloves and dip their necks in concrete, heads in concrete. Cut off some of their fingers make them all carry fake babies in order to understand the responsibility of parenthood. That's the attitude I expect from a great warlord. Victory will surely be ours. <laughs> All right, dude, I'm interested. Let me know when you've made your army even shittier and we'll go from there, yeah? Agreed, my love, agreed. Great! You doubt the prince wins many wars with that army, but he sure does seem to be winning Damien's heart. Curses! He loses negative two charm and negative one boldness. We really got defeated by the gays? Not one of the, the ghost bitch is the only one who might say yes. We literally have to ask Polly. I mean, honestly, out of everyone, she's not the worst. I mean, Scara. Scara. I mean, <laughs> Vera thought we were cool for a little bit. We did have some good times with Scott. We don't have drugs, she will say no. We gotta use tampon. You think Polly is Polly? Yes. No, we can't go with the Coven girls. We tried to drug them anyways. They wouldn't want to go with us. You know, I think I think we have to say Polly. For very unique boldness and money. I mean, I'm pretty bold still. I have 15 money. It's Polly time! Let's do this! Alright, turn it off. We gotta call her in to ask now. We let we got all the pressure away. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Fucking bitch, I hope you fucking die. I hope you burn. You fucking are dead already. Fuck. <laughs> poor life choices is how I died. So now I can tell a poor afterlife choice when I see one. <laughs> and Boo, you're a big one. No way, Boo. Who needs prom? You focused on your career goal of becoming a renowned surgeon. You studied hard and passed all the tests. Unfortunately, no hospital wanted to hire you. Because it turns out that going to prom with a cool date is an essential requirement on a surgeon's resume. So you never got a job in the end you became homeless. Don't even dare to think the monster prom isn't important. Okay, I am most likely to make Pluto a planet again. And what?
I couldn't go with this fucking little dick with the dick head. Come on now. These six weeks are maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. I started off so good. Uh, after the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does. Life happened, and it was wonderful. And a lot of death happened. Miranda and Damien received an award from Smalltopia for their work as city planners. Smalltopia citizens still insist the award was fake. And they pay every day for the two of them to stop messing with their city. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. I gave that bitch so many drugs and she said no to us. You burned harder than Alex's one noodle. <laughs> But, <laughs> but in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. We even see one titty. We got a used stamp on, though. <laughs> her greatest inventions so far are watermelon flavored ecstasy and a thing called Ellis Dupe. Vera built the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also into lots of sketchy hey, businesses. Babe, babe. Who wants to go <coughs> ape? Go ape, go ape, babe, babe. Bob and Oda have sponsored you 10 months in a row. I straight up almost pissed myself today. Oh, damn. Like, I held it for so long and so hard that I gave myself a backache. Everyone needs an emergency diaper. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that because you'll give yourself a urinary tract inf infection <laughs> or something yeah no I've been there though where, like where I've held it for way too long usually in public oh that's the worst but no one does anything about it I mean who the hell would try to stop Berlin or Berlin for those six weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. Oh, right, when I got, like, when I got rejected. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. We were too bold for our own good. Fuck all of the people at the school. They all suck. Where was that dude? Where did he ever make an appearance? I didn't see that zombie ass bitch. Oh, right. That was like a character you could be, though. But you've unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. Eight new images in the gallery. Really? Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you. Wow, they really fucking. Oh, there's a pool party in this game. Actually, I think that's just a ending picture. Can we pretend this was our prom date? Because that guy looks cool as hell. He might also be our relation though. But at this point, I mean, we gotta take what we can get. No one else wanted us. Pop fail. Yeah, the art is, is very cute in this game. I liked it a lot. I'm actually so sad. I actually shed real tears over this. K flop strikes again. What's Alex doing on his stream? Look, Luna's there. 
That doesn't look so bad. He's doing better than you. He's not even trying. Nah, nah. How fucking dare you? Bet he could get some demon dick if he wanted to. Yeah, probably. Because the demon clearly liked the dudes. Bet he has more than four, negative four charm. Bro, I... If only... I was so bold. If only some of my boldness could have been charminess. That would have been so much better. Oh, look, there's Bear. He's so cute. Look at my cute bear. I'm in silent disbelief right now. No, I, I, I'm actually in silent disbelief. Also for the record, this is not a vibrator. <laughs> it's a shaver. Because I shaved the back of my head during the stream. Actually, I didn't shave my head, the back of my head during the stream. I shaved it the other day. And I don't know why that's still on my desk. But if he just drops the lasagna, I'm so hungry. I will cry. I'll cry. Alex should stream himself watching you stream your stream of you watching his stream. Bear and Luna would jump so quick on that. He did it, yay. Yeah, which spice do you take the whole lid off of? I don't know. Oh, we bought parsley. It's probably that. Let's be dick shoulder, dude. We couldn't be dick shoulder, dude. Oh wait, yeah we could, you're right. He's dressed like Wings of Redemption today. Oh my God, that's loud. Now we have 90 minutes before we eat. So yeah, I mean. I mean oh, 90 minutes. 
90 minutes. Girl, get Taco Bell. <laughs> 90 fucking minutes. Are you goddamn serious? Like, I'm not going to count salt. I'm not going to count sugar. Like, everyone should have sugar. It's just part of the fucking being an adult. Um, so th this parsley was a dollar and we, we didn't really use any of it. Like, I mean, you know, we used it up to here. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I bought the, um, we'll do we'll try the, the game so again. The total yeah. was like 42. That's with the bread. He didn't include bread in his, um, meal. I don't think. We have a bunch of that uh, Parmesan left, and the Parmesan was this. Oh, yeah. Uh, where is it? Hold on, let's... What the fuck? What the fuck? Seasoning is in the next steps. It's also good to unclog your pores. Sea water. Oh fucking! Cr that was a mistake. Oh no. Gee, oh my god! Did you guys? Oh, oh. No. That was a mistake. Make it like sea water. Oh fucking! Cr that was a. Mistake. Make it like sea water. Oh fucking! Cr that was a mistake. Gee, oh my god! Did you guys? He really did the water. Well, that's good. Like the sea. Like the fucking. Uh, the Italian Mediterranean. That was a that fucking ginger, like right? Too much. What the fuck? Next step. <laughs> oh, All right, here we go. Let's do. A, let's try the short game. I'm just curious, like what that is. So yeah, take two. Let's try this again. See, maybe if it, if it had been a 30 minute game instead of the hour, I would have killed it. I would have got everyone to go to the prom with me because we were so cool in the first half. We were so super cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. All right, you guys want to be a dick dick again? I mean, dick shoulder? I mean, shoulder dick? What the fuck is this monster? What is it? Yellow he. Dick dick. Sure thing. And we had yet to experience its ultimate on the, 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 the its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. That was the ultimate challenge. When I start off so fucking cool. Alright, we can skip all this. Alright, well done, Miranda. Alright, well. Here we go. We I we, we skip to the magazine. All right, you build a thousand, uh, a hundred foot statue commemorating events so that in one thousand years, archaeologists can learn something about the people of our time. What does the statue represent? Ooh, mind blowing twist in your favorite TV show that clearly changed the life of everyone forever. Unlike all that boring stuff they show on the news, that glorious instant when your friend stopped you from texting embarrassing stuff to your ex while hella drunk. Your least favorite political figure being devoured by rapid rhinoceri, which all are also covered in badass tattoos. Hmm. I think these honestly all kind of suck. But I'll go with the rhinoceri. God damn it. Why is it always the bold ones I go? All I know is the bold answers. Everything I choose is bold. The coolest reality show would be people in positions of power must face all sorts of questions relevant to their field and if they fail they lose their jobs and society wins. 
Eight rich people fight in weekly challenges to see who's the best at giving money to you. Oh, I like that one. Twelve experts on the various arts of seduction live in a house where they must face a common challenge. Seducing a potato in a marriage somehow. Nah. Who can give me the money? Yes. That's like a live stream. What would be the best, but most appealing in a love partner? A big horn. A taste for party. Soft fur. Sharp wits. Quiet eyes. A very... How do I say it? Sunder. I always hear, hear people say it. But now I don't know how to say it. Personality. I think a big horn as well. Wait, no! Not a big horn! Fuck Damien! I hope he dies! Alright. Sundere. Sundere. Okay. Thanks, homies. Where's where are my eyes? Is this my eyes or is that my eyes? Is it eyebrows and eyes? Where's my face? Let's see a picture. Okay, that's eyebrows and an eye. Oh wait, yeah, we're a shadow person, right? That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much. Oh wait, we already kind of did this. Da, 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 da. <sighs> wait, this seems different though. You better not pull that shit the whole time. My dads are lords of hell, you know. Technically, I'm royalty, too. <laughs> She's giving us the Ariana vocals. <laughs> I, I mean, this is all allegedly, I guess. Uh, there was this YouTuber just telling everyone stories, like, and they had met Ariana. Like, their friend dated her for a while. And... They said, like, whenever they were all hanging out, that she would just constantly sing randomly. <laughs> and I, I think about that sometimes. They said she was, like, super annoying and would just constantly just start singing randomly. And that, like, slab story lives rent free in my head. <laughs> they, like, <laughs> musical theater kid antics. Like, yeah, possibly. Like, it sounded like a real story. And, like, they had, like, I see they have a picture with the friend and her and like some other people too and also I'm inclined to kind of believe it. <laughs> Are you though? Damien rolls his eyes and turns to you. Mrs. Panthera. Mrs. Panthera paired us up for our hands-on work assignment going on an adventure. Apparently I have some anger issues and a thirst for violence that I should be channeling into something productive. <laughs> that seems like something Glinda would do. I like Ariana, but that's funny. Yeah, like, it's not a horrible... Like, I'd be annoying as fuck, too, sometimes when I'm, like, in my own world. So, I get it. Like, a thirst for violence. And I'm, a sp and I'm supposed to work on being more independent. Which is so strange, since I've told my ladies and gentlemen in waiting to fix that for me last week. Huzzah! I wonder what sort of adventure might give us the wonderful experience we need to fix our perceived, but obviously non-existent flaws. Go on a deep sea quest to steal beautiful pearls from a scary kraken. Ooh, pearls are pretty. She threw SpongeBob's baby. <laughs> All right, journey to Vulcan. Why is that picture her fucking? Just tossing a fucking baby, and that's so funny to me. In the Glinda outfit. Anyways! Your annoying trays that you disassociate and just stare, sit there and stare. That's me too. A lot of times. Most of the time. Baby out with the bathwater, indeed. Journey to a volcano to have a hot time. Oh, and a fire strip club. Pearls or strip club? We'll do the strip club. Fucking metal. Fuck yeah, volcano hookers. Huh. I cannot pretend to condone sex work. 
But that's what will make it so fun. I'll get to feel so morally superior and holier than thou. Yeah, and I can ignore you feeling morally, morally superior in order to stare at naked fire method. I cannot do the voice anymore, so I'm just gonna speak normally. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep fucking it all up, so. For the sake of English and understanding. And that'll make you independent. Yes, and you'll curtail your passion for violence because it'll be redirected into your passion for romancing fire methods. <laughs> romancing, right. Mm -hmm. Surely you wish to see them naked so you know who is the most marriageable and whom to court. Yes. And with that, they're off to find a properly seedy volcano. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. At least it wasn't me gaining boldness, because that never helped me once in my life. All right. The Gabies here. Let's go over here. I never talked to Liam yet. Let's just see what, what he's up to, what he's into, what he's about. How he talks, what he looks like. You find Polly and Liam not eating as usual, you know, because they're anorexic. <sighs> you know, the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my momentogram. Haha, <laughs> what? I don't even eat the food. See, this is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. I agree. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off? What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. At no point did I agree to. I've got a huge advantage though because I've cooked so many drugs. What is my annoying trait? The scheduling thing probably, huh? <laughs> Staying scheduled. That's my annoying trait. For sure. Although when I make plans with people in person, I tend to make sure to be early. Like on purpose. But yeah, I've been flaky before. But, but especially with the stream schedule. Oh, and interrupting people sometimes. And hmm. It's only with us she doesn't care. Oh no, I do care. I feel bad, but that's why I don't have a schedule. Your annoying traits your rose toy addiction. Oh, and then sometimes like it's probably it's only annoying to Alex, but like failing to do my chores <laughs> like I'll just lose track of time and all of a sudden like you know shit's not done or like I'll say I'll do something and then I just forget for like a month whoops I've got a huge advantage though because I've cooked so many drugs oops Oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. <laughs> Is it pre-roll time? Hold on. Hold on. Zip, 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 zip. <laughs> they mentioned drugs and I was like, well, yes. Well, yes. Hold on, I want to smoke it out the window. Give me a moment, you guys.
You're doing a line? Nice. I wouldn't trust cocaine anymore. I've never done cocaine, but I definitely... I'd be too scared to do cocaine now. Because people keep getting, like, fentanyl mixed in their cocaine and dying. So it doesn't seem worth. Might as well just get fucked up on Adderall. <laughs> I miss Adderall when I was medicated with it. Not because I abused it, but because it actually let me sleep really good. You tried coke, it didn't work for your ADHD brain. See, that's how I feel like. I feel like if I did coke, it would be me like, oh, I can sleep now. <laughs> All right, back to the game. <laughs> yeah, the stimulant naps be hitting so good. It's like unbelievable. How could they hit? Oh, when people tried Tide Pods, yeah. I mean, right, like Tide Pods look yummy. They look like a candy, but like, come on now. Don't do it. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. Two celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge, whose meal truly is the cat's pajamas? Liam's because I think that glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top. Polly's because she literally just made a pair of pajamas for a cat. Oh. Oh my god. I think I finally got all the burnt hair bits out of my hair. I accidentally gave myself bangs the other day when I was shaving the back of my head. I don't even know how. Gotta be Polly's pajamas for a cat. Not to get off topic there. Sorry. What? Unbelievable. That's not even food. What isn't, what isn't even food? That pile of yarn! You're knitting in that frying pan. That's clearly a set of pajamas for a cat. Well, maybe you should have thought of that, Liam. Huh? Oh, I still got hella eyebrows. I have not tweezed in a long ass time. Or waxed. We got some thick bitch eyebrows right now. I'm petting them. All right, I'm not gonna pet them anymore. Oh, was it supposed to be food? Sorry, I forgot we were what we were doing. I forgot too, Polly. I was petting my eyebrows. Yes, it was supposed to be food, and yours obviously isn't. Oh yeah, then how come it won the food contest, huh? Well, I mean, if you, Jesse, if you accidentally gave yourself bangs, I'd be like, oh my god, that's so sad. But you purposely gave yourself bangs. There's a difference. Unless you're talking about the drawing where you gave me bangs. In that regard, completely unacceptable. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. I'll catch you all later. I gotta go find a cat to put these pajamas on. I just know there's a viewer out there raging at all the interruptions. I'm so sorry. Later you run into Polly again and she lets you pet her kitty. If you know what we mean. Wait, what?! No, like literally. We fucked this quick the second playthrough? Are you kidding me? Oh. Wait, I still hate this fucking bitch though. I still have fucking anger toward her for what she did the last playthrough. Like. I'm upset, actually, that we're hooking up. I feel hurt and used now. Even though it's a completely different playthrough. It means you get to pet the cat she put the pajamas on. What did you think it meant? Oh. Uh 
All right. Why did him saying all right sound like Sheldon from Bully? All right. All right. Uh, no ectoplasticity. But is he? <laughs> Let's go out, Dissy. <laughs> I need to stop going out, Dissy. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave. Yeah, I'm always doing that. And the little fucking cat and its little fucking banana peel. <sighs> Polly and Damon eating some cookies. Oh, I don't think we saw that. <gasps> hey, would you like to buy a cookie to benefit Agents of Chaos? I'm trying to get my Destructive Capitalism badge. <coughs> All proceeds go directly to the Uprising of Chaos Over Order, and it's tax deductible. As I was setting fire to our nursing home the other day, I heard a voice echo so loudly in my head that my teeth rattled. I mean, if one building had to burn if one building had to burn and it's the nursing home is it it's not the worst oh it is the worst building though cuz I was gonna say like if the building burns and everyone dies it's better the nursing home burns than any other building cuz like okay they've lived their lives but if you also think about it like younger people can escape the building but then a person in a nursing home most of them can't escape on their own so they would definitely burn damn that's fucked I'm <laughs> nursing home burned near you lots of people died <laughs> No, that's no, that's sad. Do do you guys remember, like early in COVID, they started sending COVID patients to the nursing homes because they're like, oh, that's a good idea. Send them to where the old sick people are. Why? Why was that a good idea? Who thought that was a fucking great plan? Of all the places you could put them. By the sick old people. <laughs> like, holy fuck. <laughs> you were working in one of those when that happened? Oh no, that sucks. Nah, that sucks. <laughs> like. Sick old people? Dude, it's a nursing home. That sick old people, dude. It was on purpose. They want to kill them. That's your theory and you're sticking to it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm fucking crying. Holy shit. I'm laughing because that's so absurd that that, I, that even happens. <laughs> Especially when it was mostly old people like that were getting super sick. Like, why did you send them to the old people places? Fucking metal. <laughs> and, and then the voices gave me a badge for harassment of the elder. Like, it's not even funny. It's one of those things that's not funny, but you can't help but to crack up because it's so absurd. You know what I mean? Like, that's when I'm like gonna die laughing at something. And, th <laughs> and then the voice gave me a badge for harassment of the elderly. Yo, same. Just earned mine. Classic! And I earned my first badge for being unable and unwilling to stop partying. Oh, hell yeah, girl. My goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of and then wear it and nothing else everywhere forever. My goal is to get enough badges that Polly makes a bikini out of them and wears it and nothing else everywhere forever. 
Since when is he thirsty for girls and he wasn't thirsty for me? Dude, the cost of care for the elderly is also absurd. It's party time! I wonder what badge we should go for next and what hijinks we can get into to earn it. Is the ghost dead because she Rachel Ambert or what? <laughs> she... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, why is she dead? Is it like, do you think it's offensive to ask a ghost why they're dead? <laughs> like, can you, is it, I don't know. Like, some of them might get real mad about that. You know what's crazy and chaotic? Being single and partying forever. Destroy the institution of marriage. Chaos is always better with some sensible agony. Place all the water in the school with swarms of mosquitoes. Ah, oh, hell no. I hate mosquitoes. That is a lot more chaotic than being single and partying forever, though. Because, like, after being... If you're single and partying forever, at some point it's not chaotic anymore. Or crazy. It's just the norm. Yeah, the mosquitoes would ruin the school for me too. But I'm a shadow person. Awesome, boo! I mean, nothing is quite as chaotic or miserable as being covered head to toe in bug bites. And I have ghost skin, so there's no way I can accidentally be caught in the middle of this. Oh, you fucking bitch! Fuck! Well, there was no answer there that would have made her suffer for rejecting us. Rad. <laughs> yeah, and if any of those little motherfuckers try to come near me, I'll just torch them. Ms. Bro, minutia badge, here we come. Go team. The three of you immediately set to work, draining all of the school's pipes of water and funneling in swarms of live mosquitoes instead. Yay! Students trying to take a drink of water suddenly find themselves with a mouthful of winged parasites, stealing the blood from their tongue and gums. Oh, that is so gross, dude. Do you guys ever, like, uh, you don't notice you have a mosquito on you, but you're, like, I don't know. Like, if you're just standing there with your arms to your side and then you go to fold your arms and as you're, like, you know, putting your arms together, you accidentally brush over a mosquito that's there and, like, just crush it and tear it off and, like, smash it and there's blood all over no. You always notice. I notice most of the time before they bite me. I've never been bit by a tick yet. Like, I always notice when the ticks are on me, crawling around before they bite me. Oh, oh, I fucking hate bugs so much. I wish they weren't relevant to the, like, to nature, but fuck, I guess they are. Students go to wash their hands. You know, tree of life and all that. And our then unable to use them the rest of the day because of how swollen they are from dozens and dozens of itchy awful bites nah <laughs> yay we're heroes it's Damien LeVay bitches order motherfucking obliterated what a delightful prank for everyone involved nah not really later in the week you see Damien and Polly proudly displaying their miserable minutia badges agents of chaos one order zero you gain Plus two fun, plus one creativity. I'm big on the fun this time. We're big on the fun. You had to be tested for Lyme disease so often as a child. All right. Yeah, the, a lot of the, the tick diseases are all really scary. Damn, look at this flat ass. We are not getting a prom date whatsoever. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes play place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit. Oh, wait, this is a boldness one. We got this before. Oh, wait, that was charm. Good, we need a charm. We have seven charm, at least. Afterwards, you spot Coach Branding and Sally at Damien. Better go save them from each other. Always believe in oh, yourself. Oh, my fucking God. Jeez, he scared me. All right, I'm okay. What I'm trying to say, son, is that you're full to the gills with untapped potential. I don't have gills. Then whatever you breathe with, that's what you're full up to. My lungs? 
Sure, your lungs are full of untapped potential and you know what they say. I don't. Untapped potential is like untapped maple syrup. It just sits in your lungs where it can't go on anyone's pancakes. Yo, it's way warmer this year than it was last year. I might need to tap the maple tree sooner because there's a very small period of time in which you could tap maple trees. Well, shit. Let me, I need to write that down, guys, before I forget. Write it down. Maple. Tap. Ing. No, the, dude. <laughs> the maple syrup. I, honestly, Alex did all of the work, okay? But <laughs> I can, I helped with cooking some of the, sap into the maple syrup it was so fucking good it was the best maple syrup i've ever had in my life <sighs> anyways sorry untapped potentials like untapped maple syrup what does this have to do with me creating a super special custom workout your potential damien we gotta tap but if you can design a workout that strengthens your specific skills then this will still be a really dumb conversation, but it's also an opportunity for you to bond with Damien. So you suggest obstacle course through a burning building. It'll make you a better arsonist. An ambitious regimen of powerlifting. It'll make you better hairdresser. Hmm, arson or hairdressing? I mean, an arsonist can do a lot of damage, but so can a hairdresser, really, if you think about it. Like, they both can cause emotional damage. Ants damage to the skin. If you try hard enough. And, as Trace wisely pointed out, last time I talked about arson, he about had a bitch fit and called me an ugly fucking bitch. So, I think we're gonna do power lifting. So I don't get called an ugly bitch again. A hairdresser. A hairdresser. Why didn't you tell me you wanted to be a hairdresser? Because I uh, totally don't. Oh, that's too bad. At sports college, I actually minored in hairdressing. Oh, well, uh, it would be a shame not to use your talents. I guess I'll, it'll do, I'll do <laughs> some totally lame hairdressing workouts. Hooray, let's do it. I fucked up. Did I really fuck up that much? How are we supposed to know? The last playthrough, he had, like, acted so annoyed with the arson. Coach leads Damien through the most intense hairdressing workout you've ever seen. Granted, you haven't seen many hairdressing workouts, but this is definitely super intense. I know I saw everyone t saying arson, but then I saw Trace say, hey, remember when he hated arson? And I was like, yeah, that's a really good fucking point. It was a better point than anyone else made. Pump that iron, heat that iron, curling iron, curling iron, bicep curls, cherry curls, other kinds of curls, bob and weave, weave that bob, bob that weave. I'm doing it! I'm tapping my potential. The maple syrup is draining out of my fucking lungs. You never realized how much overlap there is between sports and hairdressing. Go figure. Plus two smarts. Plus one fun. Plus fuck chat. Minus trace. All right. You were wrong? Chat was wrong? Oh, hell yeah, Trace! Who's this freak? Alright, it's the werewolf. You're about to dig in a delicious bowl of beef jerky. A bowl of beef jerky? Hmm. <laughs> when you see the wolf pack across the table panting at you. Hey, what's up, noob? <coughs> no, I'm not gonna do that voice for this guy again. Don't worry, you're safe this time. Hey, too much pip pipsy. 
Yo, dog, can we have some of that beefy J you got there? We love meats that have been jerked. Come on, we'll totally trade you anything from our lunch. You can have this dead ferret or this half chewed telephone receiver or... While one of them is talking, the other's just straight up eating your beef jerky. You hit their noses with a newspaper, but it's too late. God damn it, why'd I eat with this, this fucking motherfuckers? Haha, <laughs> whoops, guess we gotta trade after all, huh? Which of our foods do you want, dog? It's about this black plastic bottle labeled. Seriously, don't drink this. It's poison. Nothing. Give me my beef jerky back now. I don't poison them. Is it wrong to poison them? We are at Monster High. Or Monster Prom, I mean. Or Monster High, really. It's not the prom yet. Like, will they? Re I think they'll respect me more if we poison them. Yeah, we should poison them. I think that's how I will gain some respect here. Oh, is that what it says we found in a garbage bin with a skull and crossbones on it? Bones are good to eat, so we took it. But if that's the only thing you want, I guess you can have it. Oh, well, I guess we're just taking it. I'm not poisoning them. You don't give them time to change their minds. You reach across the table, snatch and chug. Oh, I'm drinking the poison. Oh. Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> on the TV news that night, you learned that after drinking the elixir, you went on a bit of a rampage. I'm going to get so much respect, though, but for, from my schoolmates. Specifically, you declared the cafeteria a sovereign state and abolished all laws except for party forever. Your government was soon overthrown by the National Guard, but you've been nominated for the Nobel Prize for party. You gained plus four fun. Guess I made the right fucking decision. Killed it. All right. Little dick tick, let's go. All right. Fuck class, fuck that. What's up in the bathroom? How's the boys' bathroom doing? Creative Cloud, why don't you shut the fuck up? No one asked. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people want to watch the world burn. Plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Oh. There we go. There's our little event. You're minding your own business when Damien comes rushing through, punching everyone who's minding their own business. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so angry. Why? Because we outed you to the coach. I'm so angry, I want to pull my own skull out and eat it. Do it. I'm so angry, I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in his fucking face. I'm so angry, I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become president and then use my nuclear codes to blow up the sun. And you! You're standing in my way. Move before I punch you so hard you'll remember with mel melancholy the times when you could have a move without all of your bones hurting. Oh no, violence incoming. Think fast. Joke's on you, pal. I'm a pragmatist. I avoid any kind of idealization of the past because it has no use. Therefore, I refuse feeling any kind of melancholy. No time to think of anything clever. Start dancing for no reason. Oh. Well, he's gay. He'll like that. You have no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. It is really, really silly indeed. Before you realize, all your classmates have joined you in your silly little dance. Imagine sitting on his right horn. See, I thought that in my head earlier when we first met him, but the difference between you and I is that I did not vocalize that. And now we will all judge you for that. What the fuck? Move or I will kick you dead, noob. You still thought it though? Yeah, that's true, fuck. And now I did vocalize it. You were very fine vocalizing with your vibrator. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Damon, you can't deny he's actually moving. Yeah, and quite the move he has. Hmm. Clearly even Damien can't fight against logic. Maybe you should move Damien, don't be a loser. Oh, who's the loser now, Damien? Damien the loser. 
Yeah, as you just said, here you move or you die. All your classmates start chanting, move or die, move or die. Polly's hot, but she sucks. I know, right? Ugh. Damien, frustrated by the crazy, mindless, but joyful mob you've created, finally leaves. Still, from afar, you can see an internal fire burning in the back of his eyes, but now you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. <clears throat> I'm so fun this playthrough. All right. going on at the library ah just mine some bitcoins plus two bitcoins which is equal to plus two million dollars a which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars god damn it how dare they excite me like that Despite everything else happening around you, you're just solving some Sudokus. But your mind is constantly going back to Damien. Stupid sexy Damien and his idiotic short temper. You think he could even be your sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24-7. For God's sake, he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. As a matter of fact, did you guys know you peel the bottom of the banana, not the top of the banana? And ever since I started doing that, oh, the banana, it's just so much better. It's so much better than peeling the top of the banana. Trust me. As a matter of fact, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. <laughs> Night, Meekly! You stupid yellow fruit. Not you, Meekly. That's in the game. You stupid yellow fruit. <laughs> so dumb. You stupid. <laughs> you stupid yellow fruit. What's your deal? Do you think you're richer in potassium than me? No one is richer in potassium than Damien fucking Levy. Oh. Is he even for real? Stupid sexy Damien. No, you need to put a strap on. I mean, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates into arson somehow. Defend the banana's honor, eat the banana. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Oh my god! Valor with the 20 gifted membership. It's a fucking blizzard of memberships in the chat. Congratulations, everyone who got one. Thank you so much, Valor. I'm sure all those people are very thankful as well. I appreciate that so much. Very kind of you. In fact, Valor, why don't you choose? Do we defend the banana's honor or eat the banana mm. Mm. is there a new email oh let me check oh no hold on my space bar fell off as per usual um Eat the banana? I... You got it. Wait, how many emotes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, how many memberships do I have? Sometimes it doesn't update right away on here. We got a little while till the emote. I'm like hovering around 
like the last emote we unlock and the new one in membership numbers. But we got a little while. You get closer to Damien in a very cool and quiet way. Huh? Why don't you mind your own business, noob? But you don't mind your business. You eat the banana instead. What? Ah! I hope we just deep throw the banana as we ate it. Grave save! Thanks for becoming a member! Gravesafe has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Thank you so much. On our way to the new emo. Oh, look at Damon. He's losing his shit again. Yeah, he was bullying that banana, but it seems he's all bark and no bite. Not like Dick Dick, huh? Indeed, Dick Dick seems to be all bite for sure. Oh my god, everyone wants our Dick Dick, dude. Kind of sexy. It is alluring, being all bite, not the bullying. Bullying is never alluring, nor sexy. True that, unless you're bullying a banana. I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. Damien is stupid. He is stupid and ugly, one might say. Way uglier than Dick Dick. Hashtag winners don't bully bananas. They just eat them. Hashtag Damien is stupid banana bully. Ugh, not again. This is it. Yeah, and fat. He's also fat. This is it. This is the last, and not in a good way. Not in a good way. In all the wrong ways. This is it. This is the last time you dare fuck with me, you bastard. On prom night, we're going to share a very special dance. Spoiler alert, it will hurt. Oh, but is he taking me to prom? I'll take any prom date I can get. That's a prom fight on prom night. Damien vs. Dick Dick. Instant classic. Stupid yellow fruit. Interesting, I might attend. Damn right, you all have tickets to watch how I reduce Dick Dick's bones into sad, shapeless pulp. Yas, free tickets. Hashtag prom fight on prom night. We are getting demon dick. And so you've led yourself to your own potential death. Nice, at least you gain plus three boldness. <gasps> all right. We should probably, oh, uh, I was gonna say like Polly is acting like she wants our dick, but she kind of acted like that last time and then she denied us. And I don't want to get my feelings hurt again. But yeah, we could go for Damien. I mean, maybe we should go for Damien. We kind of insulted him a bunch. He'll feel like how we felt last time. <sighs> what are you doing? You mess with me and then you try to sit at my table? Go away and get ready to die, fuckhead. Oh, wow. You should see in the corner in silence. Will you die soon? Who knows? Meanwhile, nothing happens. Oh, right. Because he's all talk. No bite. That's right. And if you think this is unfair, next time you try to sit at the table of a person who's expressed his desire to murder you, totally not a smart move. But did I get murdered? Nah. All right. Nah. But where is he? Where should I go? Oh, look at us. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves had descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad. Scott and Vera shoulder each other out of the way to try and get to you first. Hey, bro. Oh. You're a tree. Hey, I heard Damien talking about how he's going to beat you up at prom. <laughs> yeah, mess him up. What? Hey, I don't believe in gratuitous violence unless I'm a werewolf, in which case one time I ate a kindergartner. Oh, he does have a bird on his dick. As well as a hole. 
You're right, Scott. I think look, I should look into this upcoming carnage and think of a way of monetizing it. Smart. I heard Polly saying Damien was giving away free tickets to watch him skinning Dick Dick. Oh, don't do that. Skinning Dick Dick alive. Such a lack of business perspective is discouraging. That's not nice. Why haven't I received free tickets? Maybe the not n so nice part is the part about you being Dick Dick skinned alive. Yeah. Anyway, Dick Dick, what are you doing about this? Might I interest you in some Oberlin life insurance? This might be a good time to get a policy. Yeah, Dick Dick, what are you doing about this? Won't you give us free tickets to watch Damien skin you alive? Don't be rude, bro. That's a good question. What are you doing about this? Seems like you're pretty screwed. But maybe if you play your cards right, you can convince one of these two to teach you how to fight. Here's what I'm gonna do. Vera, I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks and you're gonna teach me your secret of Berlin combat style. I don't know, probably die unless some big, strong, good at sports man decides to teach me how to fight. But where would I ever find such a man? Ooh. Oh. And I gotta keep my hundred dollars because I only have nine dollars, so. Big strong man it is. Hmm. Oh, that's not promising. Where would you find a man who is big and strong and good at sports? Vera is definitely strong, but she's not quite big and definitely not a man. Polly's pretty good at beer pong, but I'm not sure if that counts as a sport. Oh, but for sure, she isn't big, strong, or a man, of course. Hmm, big and strong and good at sports. Big and strong and good at sports. Nope, I got nothing. This is definitely a tough mystery. Scott, did you say tough mystery? Polly has appeared out of nowhere with her mystery van. Liam is with her. Paulina, you told me we were going to the Shinnings concert. The Shinings concert. Did I? I recent... Uh, <clears throat> where did I even see that word? It doesn't say that at all. Did I... I meant wandering in our mystery van until someone mentioned a mystery. Come on, Scott. We'll go out looking for a big, strong, good at sports man. Hooray, mystery time. And so Scott gets from the van and the three of them disappear into the horizon. I mean, you weren't as explicit as possible when trying to ask him for a favor, so that's kind of on you. <laughs> the shittings. <laughs> Dude. At least I'll die on this prom night instead of you know, just being rejected. What if I ask Damien? <laughs> Can I save the game? Damn it! Like, I... He was so mad last time we saw him. Hey, noob. Look how cute. A demon in his shadow. You guys are saying Damien. All right. In your cockiest voice, you remind Damien the two of you have a date on prom night. What a noob. A date? No, I'm just breaking your bones, you idiot. Conflating love language with violence is extremely problematic and can totally lead to toxic relationships. You just gave me more reasons to kick your ass big time. Not that I needed them. Prom night arrives and your brawl is even scheduled in the official prom prom gram. Damn, he called us toxic. <laughs> <laughs> He's the toxic one. I hope I at least win this fight. The crowd is ready for your fight. You crazy bastard. Oh my lord, though. Woof. Woof. Big surprise. Your total lack of preparation is actual consequences. Damien unleashes a storm of punches upon you, and it seriously hurts. If that wasn't enough, you can hear the crowd judging you. I've, I've heard he made a problematic statement that mixed love and violence earlier. Oh, fuck your crowd. Chat, I listened to you guys. Every and I, I almost listened to you guys earlier, but I listened to Trace, and it was the right decision to not listen to you guys ever. Never listening to what the majority of chat says ever again. 
Yeah, language is important. It can shape a society. It's our responsibility. Use it carefully. But you're beating me. Good thing Damon is beating that insensitive bigot's ass. He's the true hero here. The A bigot? I got the bigot ending? Oh no. Yeah, isn't it a hate crime? We're black. Unfucking believable, dude. Black and gay, double hate crime. Fuck, you're right. Oh my gosh. Actually, it's a fucking quadruple hate crime. Because we have a little dick friend on our shoulder. And so he counts too as an individual. <gasps> well, at least Damien ended up in prison. Oh wait, that wasn't Damien. This is just the same old bullshit. Well, maybe it's not different. It might be different. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped it all. Sometimes things were different. I don't think it was. Alex! And rejected again! Are you serious? lasagna ready yet Is he itching his ear in my kitchen what if he's doing that when he made the lasagna oh my god Wait, hold on. There's like eight minutes left on the stove timer. LIXW has just donated five dollars to Super Chat. Was good girly. Just got on hard, hard. Labor to take with some one. Romantic cat face. Romantic cat face. Romantic cat face. Just in time for the end. And I have bad news. We didn't get any. <laughs> we didn't get any of the good endings. <laughs> we did not get any good endings. And that the timer didn't say eight minutes on the lasagna because I just heard the thing go off. And Alex is getting it ready now. Let's see. If you don't know, this is my boyfriend. He was streaming making lasagna for our date tonight. Zario has become a Pop Dart Pride member. Miss most of stream, but wanted to recommend Amanda the Adventurer if you haven't heard of it yet. Uh, Amanda the Adventurer, I will write it down. Thank you, Zarya, by the way, seven months. Amanda. Don't worry, we will have another stream this week. Um. <clears throat> Probably Friday or Saturday. Because I'll have like a four or five hour window there. Because I have like a bunch of games I want to play that are in the four to five hour window. Wait, hold on. Let's see how my Valentine's Day lasagna looks. Cooking, but like actually cooking. I did tomato soup. Maybe twice tomato soup. Oh shit. Oh wait, he probably has to put it uncovered a little while. Let's see how long.
10 minutes. Wee! Oh, is that 15 minutes? Not too bad. Okay. Looks good, white boy. Oh, oh that message has been super chat. Thank you for because of Kelly. ethnicity. Two hearts. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. I appreciate it. Hold on, let me go back to my credits because I need to go to my stream thing so I can make sure to say thank you to all the correct peoples. I think someone donated some weird thing about ethnicity that got banned on his like donation thing or chat. <laughs> That's what he was talking about. Um, Kelly? Audrey313 has just donated $2.99 since through Super Chat. Hey, Kelly, thank you. Just Jordan has just donated $1.99 since through Super Chat. I can't wait for Silent Hill's short message. Thank you. Yeah, Silent Hill, I want to do it um, for sure when I saw that it come out. I just need to... Is it only... It's only on PlayStation, right? I didn't make that up in my head. I have to set up my PlayStation for it. I have no reason to, like, be on PlayStation. Everything I've been playing is on PC, so I've, like... Ever, I've not set it up once since I moved here. Like two, three years or however long it's been. It's on Xbox. Oh, if it's on Xbox, I might be able to get it through the... No. That's only Microsoft games. I was going to say they have it on Xbox and PC, but only Microsoft games, I think. Well, and games that are available on PC. No, thank you. Question, four question marks. Donate five dollars. Uh, thank you. Wait, why does it have you have a question mark on here? But you weren't a question mark. You were Alex. Oh, because you have the funny font. I was like, who is question mark question mark? I don't remember getting that alert, but it was Alex. Okay. And then Zario, seven months. Brandy, the four ninety nine. Thank you, Brandy. Adri, $2.99, thank you. Just Jordan, thank you, guys. I really appreciate that. We will uh, talk a little bit. Nice, chill stream tonight. I liked that game. It was really cute. Had really fun, some funny moments. <coughs> Not as corny as I thought it might be. I'm just so sad I got turned down. It was a cute game, but I don't see how we will win. Yeah, I feel like I mostly got positive interactions. It was just, I think, on the first playthrough, the main issue was that I kept ending up getting my boldness skill point maxed. Which, if I had went online and looked at, okay, which monster likes boldness, that probably would have helped us. Maybe I'll do, we'll play this again at some point. Even if we like, okay, say we end a game earlier than we thought and I have longer to stream, we'll just do this for like a half hour, hour. That's, you know, uh, because maybe I'll look into what stats work for who. That would probably help a lot. Since that how, that's how it seems to work. Following walkthroughs aren't as fun, though. Yeah. That's why I don't do that for, like, my first playthroughs. But my first playthroughs, no one wanted to fucking go to prom with us. Your vibe for making a guest appearance should be a regular thing. It's a shaver. A baby... 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 What is this fucking called? Ba bye less pro. Ba bye less. Baby less pro. It's a really good shaver. It's like gold. It's good quality. Bussy less pro. 
Well, you are babyless. This is true. Baba Woohoo. There should be a vibrator named Baba Woohoo. I feel like it's a good name. It just needs to find the right product. Or maybe like an off brand soda. Yeah, an off brand soda. I could see it. Well, maybe an energy drink, because that's the woohoo part of it. Or you have the baba, which is like this, their uh, fucking regular soda, and the baba woohoo, which is the energized version. Bye bye, birdie! Sorry, I'll never do it again. My bad. Baja ba Blast. What is Taco Bell doing with their fucking Baja Blast pie and Baja Blast little monstrosities over there? I stopped fucking with Taco Bell since inflation. I... Chapo, Chapo Bell. <laughs> Chapo Bell. Taco Bell, like, used to be that good, cheap shit food, you know, when you want good, cheap shit food. And now it's just too expensive for what it is, I think. $28 for Taco Bell? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Taco Bell did, a, like, an Apple keynote for their new shit. Yeah, any like publicly traded company kind of has their little things like that. McDonald's, maybe I should try the Taco Bell app because like, <coughs> I thought McDonald's had gone up a lot too and I stopped going there. But then once you like, then I tried the app and like, they just have tons of deals on their app that it ends up being a lot cheaper. And then on one of the fast food apps, I found an exploit where I can get 30% off every time. I'm not going to say which one. I'm not going to say how because I don't want to lose it. So that's been pretty sick. And it just keeps working. <laughs> I just have to do this thing. See, you know how I bl break games all the time? Well, I break apps all the time, too, but in this time, I found out how to do something really funny. <laughs> what a burger. Oh, my God. Last time I was in Texas, what a burger was literally a block away. From where I was staying at. And I meant to go there and try it. And then I never fucking did. And so I still haven't had it. Whataburger sucks cock. People seem very divided on Whataburger. What do you guys think about Culver's? in and out in and outs not too bad. Five guys. Five guys is all right. I like Carl's Jr. just because it's called Carl's Jr. And that's like so funny to me. I don't know why. Carl's Jr. Like, what does it mean? It's not Carl Jr. It's Carl's Jr. What the fuck do you mean, Carl's Jr.? Yeah, Hardee's, uh, I haven't had a Hardee's by me since I was, like, fucking 10. So that's annoying. And now I don't have a Wendy's by me. The nearest Wendy's is an hour away. 
Actually, most things are like an hour away. I don't have like... I don't have fran- there's not like that many franchises where I am. Which like is good in some ways. But I kinda, it's bad in other ways because sometimes you want like some windy spicy chicken nugs. <laughs> you're an hour from Wendy's, Jesus Christ, you're isolated from society. Although at the very least, there's a really good Mexican restaurant up here. Like of all the foods I could give up, a good Mexican restaurant, authentic. I wouldn't want to give that up. It's so good. Alex should open a takeaway lasagna restaurant. <laughs> oh God. Slim's chicken. Oh yeah, I had Slim's chicken. Yeah, Slim's chicken wasn't too bad. They have like, they had those jar desserts, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? They had desserts in a jar. Those were pretty good. Kind of expensive though. Would I ever open a restaurant? Hmm. If I was like super rich, you know, I might franchise some things out. Let chat be the managers and the workers. <laughs> I get enough for everyone to have a job and a spot. Bluff can pay for it. <laughs> You would underpay us? I so would not. How about I give you a percentage in addition to the normal salary? Dairy Queen got rid of their cherry dipped cones? Really? Hmm. Yeah, they've had those for a long ass time. Are we all super hungry or something? Why are we talking about this? We're like talking about all these like, not even like, <laughs> not even nourishing foods, just shitty ones. Dilly bars are smaller now. That sucks. I don't think I've had wings stop, no. Shitty foods taste so good though. Yeah, I think you need like a mix of shitty foods and like healthy foods is good. You get some nutrients and honestly like healthy foods are good too. Dish usually require more effort from me. Have you ever had a cherry popped cone from K-Pop's restaurant? So good. Oh, it sounds delicious. Blech. We had a spinach souffle and it tastes really good. Creamed spinach. Fucking fire. Creamed spinach is so good. I don't make enough creamed spinach. I need to like start up on that. It's kind of high calorie because of the cream and butter. But, you know, I'll just have a little bit. At least you get some spinach with it. Sardines and mustard sauce. Oh, with sardines and mustard sauce? I put them on some nice crackers. I have... I have whole baby scallops. I have like 12 cans of whole baby scallops right here. And the oysters are okay. But I recently tried the scallops. And those are pretty fire. Oh, baby. Oh, a 
a crab boil? Yes. <gasps> we have crab legs in the freezer. Oh my god. I need to have those soon. We've had them for like a month. I don't know why, because usually we like want to eat them right away. Yeah, crab boils are so good. Do y'all like Subway? I like Subway. It was fun when I worked there and I could like full on make my own sandwich however the fuck I want with, you know, whatever. Until I got in trouble for that. Whoops. Whoops. Like, damn, the customers fucking love me. Let me choose what fucking meats I want. On one fucking sandwich. Making the party subs was so fun. Where you live the subway is racist and only hires women for some reason. I would only hire women too. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Honestly though. As a <laughs> Not to generalize, but when I worked at Subway, most of the lady employees were a lot better than the male ones. And the customers liked us a whole lot more. What about gaming? Slightly better than the straight men at making the subs, but still not as good as the women. And one of the gay guys, he, you know, he was very fast at making the subs, but he made it so messy. It was like, no, don't move that fast if you're gonna make it look like shit. Like, yeah, we gotta line out the door. Yeah, it's $5 foot longs. But you could still move super fast and not make it look like shit. You talking about someone being messy? Yeah, I'm saying make a good looking sandwich. I may be messy in my own life, but not when I'm making someone else's sandwiches. <laughs> It's going to be 105 degrees Fahrenheit where you live today. Oh, no. It's been warm here, though. Which <laughs> it still is like 40 degrees. What is it right now? Actually, we have a snowstorm coming tonight for the first time in a while. But it's only like four inches. Oh, it's 37 degrees now, so it'll probably melt right away. It was in like the 30s, 40s all this last week. Usually, last year was so fucking cold at the same time. Tons of snow. None of that this year. Which is nice to have a break. Yeah, Kelly doing Kel's Kitchen again would be iconic. Let's check Alex. I can't see. Oh, I think it's almost done. It's hard to tell when the, it's a zero or an eight. on the timer. We'll wait till he's done. So you guys could see the Valentine's Day lasagna he made me. Where do I live? You live in a desert. It's going to be 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm up by the Canadians. Cross the pond from the motherfuckers. I can escape to Canada if need be. Be a boat. Oh. It's going off.
Hmm. Interesting. You lived in Michigan for a while near Canada. It stayed in the negatives up there. I hated it. Yeah, it was really rough uh, last winter. It was really cold. Like, the seasonal depression hit hard last winter. This, yeah, this winter has been very mild so far. We only had one really bad snowfall. Which wouldn't have been so bad, but our uh, snowblower broke. Ooh. You know, I think it's going to be delicious. And he has, probably hasn't added all the Parmesan and stuff yet. And we have sourdough baguette to go with this, which will be a delicious. <sighs> I mean, lasagna is what? Noodles, meat, cheese. You can't fuck it up. It's going to be good. Yeah, the little crispy edges too. Hell yeah. He did burn a noodle. <laughs> I forgot about the burnt noodle. <laughs> I've never, honestly, I've never made a lasagna. I'm going to need to try, uh, I always just make, I mean, I'm good at, at making like spaghetti. So I just make spaghetti. Like I have different types of spaghetti I make, but I always like spaghetti noodles over like lasagna, I guess. Oh yeah, I got some nice kitchen stuff. So, got some good appliances. <gasps> Food. What's he saying? Why well, I can't touch that, can I? Yeah, why do I still have that music going? Oh shit, my bad with the, my bad with the camera work. I was I was hyper focused on the lasagna. Let me, mama mia, let me take a piss. <laughs> Who gets to do the dishes? I do the dishes. He does laundry. So, typical. I think honestly, I think dishes is way better than the laundry. I mean, initial, huh? Well, I think putting away the dishes is better than folding all the clothes. So I think I got the sweet end of the deal there. Plus, we got a dishwasher, so I just throw everything in that instead of, like, washing it in the sink. And it's, like, a good one, so it gets everything off. Please. With Parmesan. Success. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, everybody. The chat's pretty hyped about that. Y'all don't even get to eat it. He fucking outed you. <laughs> I I'll just do it per plate. Jesse. Who performs what? at a gold medal do Gordon Ramsay uh, Michelin star what do you level? Do, Jesse. Jesse cheated on the stream. Wow. We have to. Man, wow. this would be so much better too with fresh tomatoes from my garden. Okay, Google. What's the best type of tomato for lasagna? I should have said know, fresh. But I found these results on search. Google didn't fucking know. I almost busted a nut looking at that sexy lasagna. How is this chat weirder than us? <laughs> uh, 
All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to smoke some weed. Um, but if you want to join his stream, it's White Boy 7th Street on Twitch and YouTube. If you want to see the rest of his lasagna stream, I don't know what he's going to talk about or how much longer he's really going to stream because we'll probably eat it soon. But thank you guys so much for coming out to the Valentine's Day stream. Thank you so much. A lot of generous people with the gift of subs tonight. It's new members. It's free memberships. Donations. Our lurkers. We have some lurkers become chatters tonight. Our lurkers still lurking. Thank you as well. Everyone watching the stream after was live. Thank you. And love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day again. Uh, we'll definitely have a stream this weekend on the longer side. I wanted to do, I don't know, there was like a bunch of games I found that I wanted to do that were like four to five hours. But I didn't have that kind of time today. So Monster Prom actually worked out perfectly. But yeah, there's some other dating sims I want to do. I think Doki Doki Literature Club, I still have to play. The games like that. There was like Slay the Princess looked interesting. I don't know which one I'm going to play this weekend. And yeah, Silent Hill short message. Actually, I should play that one. Maybe we have two streams this week. Or maybe I'll do that one as a video. Because that's on the shorter end, too. I see a bunch of you have been suggesting things. So don't worry. I'll go back and look at everything. But thanks, guys. Bye.